Hello, and welcome to the Redstone Lab. Today, I'm going to be showing off a minecart dispenser um, that uses some of the new features from Minecraft 1.6 based on Rolf David's original minecart dispenser design um, that used the collision uh, bug. Um, I'll also be explaining some more principles involved in how to use powered rails effectively. So first, a demonstration of the dispenser. We have two buttons, launch, which controls the station track here, and dispense, which does this. You notice I'm using the new trap doors to space the carts apart. Um, I'll explain why that is in a moment. But first, so here we are. You get in your mine car, press launch, takes you someplace else, and eventually returns to the dispenser. I'm not talk here to talk about return systems, just here to talk about the dispenser. Um, so just to show you again, you notice the trap doors um, work in staggered, and then the, tra the car falls on this powered rail, um, which sends it forward. I just use a simple 8 tick delay circuit to stagger the um, opening and closing of the gates. I've measured it out, 8 ticks is the minimum amount of time you have to have between them, so that the, first, that the lower gate is closed before the upper gate opens. Um, this is just a two car holding system. If you wanted to uh, have more cars, you'd have to make it taller with more complicated circuitry, um, but certainly can be scaled. Um, yeah. So some principles of the design. Um, how powered rails work is, how powered rails decide which direction to send a cart in, rather, is that um, if there is a block behind the powered rail, it will send them in the only direction it can go, i.e. that way. Or if the powered rail is sloped down, it will always send the mine car in the area pointing down. Uh, let me demonstrate. So you notice here we have a car on flat track power rail with no, no blocks at either end. If we power it, it doesn't go anywhere and it won't go anywhere until I give it a push, and then it launches. Basically, the, if the game can't decide which way it's supposed to go, it doesn't go either way. There's no convention. Um, another interesting note is powered rails can be powered from underneath. This uh, can allow you to save space. You can see I used that principle here because I didn't want the redstone torch that powers that rail to interfere with the circuitry for the uh, trapdoor switches. Um, trapdoors, when powered by redstone, behave just like other doors, so as long as you power the block that the trapdoor is attached to, the trapdoor will toggle open or closed. Uh, an interesting, or another detail rather, is that this has to be higher than directly above. You can't put the trapdoor here. It won't work right. Uh, allow me to demonstrate. The mine car is going to land on the trapdoor and actually shoot right through it and snap onto the rails. Um, this is apparently a property of minecars that they'll automatically attach the rails if they're one block ahead. Uh, observe. Push the cart, and it goes right through the trap door. So that's why we have to have it um, at least one extra space above the rail to prevent that from happening. Um, that's it, really. It's a lot simpler than Rolf David's design because we have powered rails now. Um, however, the requirement to use trap doors uh, adds complexity. If I were to just drop both of these on top of the other, um, they'd both fall down, both launch, collide, and then not work right. That's why we have to have them separated, and each one has to be separated. Um, because if they both drop on the track at the same time, they'll actually merge. Uh, I'll see if I can demonstrate that just a second. So, we have seemingly reasonable stacked mine cars. We then drop and drop. They actually both snap to the rails, merge together, and then come apart later on. Um, yeah, because of the changes to how mine cars collide. This results in one car going and the other car just getting stopped by collisions. Um, so yeah, that's the mine car dispenser. Um, hopefully people can find interesting ways to integrate this. Uh, into their existing transportation systems, possibly replacing some of Rolf David's dispensers with these, um, since the collision bug doesn't work anymore. Uh, I look forward to seeing designs. If you are going to be using this, please post a response video. And, uh, yeah, it would be nice to see. Um, thank you, and happy building.